Let's see what we got. Let me know if the camera should be on the right or the left hand side. I like the intro already. Oh, you're gonna make me use a, a controller. Okay, apparently we have a controller game. Okay, all right. How's the sound versus my microphone? Check, 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 check. And it begins. <laughs> what is this? This is me stumbling on my fucking face right now, bro. Sometimes when I walk into my office, I get the feeling that I'm walking among the ruins of a lost civilization. Not because of the reigning disorder, but because it feels like the remains of the civilized person I used to be. <laughs> Let's try this again. Hey! Hand over the pictures, you bastard. Now! Otherwise, you're gonna be dead meat. Hear me, cat? Do I know you? Your face rings a bell, but... You've been spying on me. You took pictures of me with a lady. <laughs> well, then you'll understand why I didn't really focus on your face, right? I'm gonna kill you! Oh, you have to time it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, first time I regretted a guy like him. But at least I bought enough time to aim at his soft spots. There it is. <laughs> what is this, bro? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So it's all timed based. Oh man, you broke my jaw. Well, now it matches your marriage. If you show my wife those pictures, I'm dead meat. You'll ruin my life, please. Uh, you're the one who cheated on your wife first. Tell me, uh, tried to kill me. Now you beg for mercy. Here we go. Sure, the gun didn't work. So why not shed some tears? I wasn't gonna use it, man. I've never shot a fly. And I'm no two-timer either. It only happened once, for God's sake. I'm just her bodyguard, that's all. She seduced me. I love my wife, honest to God. I, I even quit the damn job for her. You can't break up a family for one tiny mistake. Mmm. That's my job, it's just not right. Ooh, um. That just wouldn't be ethical, would it? If I hide the truth, I deny her her freedom of will, her right to choose. Okay, how about this? You give me those pictures and tell her a white lie and I pay you ten times what she's offering. You save my family and you make a pretty penny. What do you say? Deal? Are we as dirt? long as I could remember, I had collected nothing more than bad gigs, debt, and sorrow. My self-respect and bank account were racing to see who'd hit rock bottom first. There was more than money at stake. The man seemed honest. The best I could do for his wife was to hide the truth, no matter how low it made me feel. All right, I'll tell your wife you're clean. 
Get the hell out of here before I regret it, pal. Three. Thank God. Two. You're a good man, Blackside. One. You won't regret helping out Eugene Colbert. I promise you that. My you think uninvited guest had left me several gifts. First of all, a massive headache. <laughs> okay. That guy's skin was hard as a rock. Second of all, an empty wallet. Business as usual. Third, I was starting to second guess the morality of my last choice. You think so? Last but not least, the certainty that more gifts were yet to come. Well, he's a nice guy. <laughs> you see what I said about my pal Black Sad? He doesn't even know you, and he's already offering you a seat. <laughs> uh. Yes, Jake's. Jake's right, of course. That's me to a T. Please, have a seat. Shut up and listen, buddy. All right? I brought you a client. Okay. All right. Everyone in this game is fucking chain smoking. Da na na. Oh, this game's wild. No monkey business. That's the longest lit cigarette I've ever seen in my life. It's not even going down. <laughs> a cigarette's not even lit. And that's why we need to find him soon, or we, we will have a very serious problem. Hmm. Thanks for the information and the picture. They'll really come in handy. Let me see if I have this straight. Uh, navigate through the different hotspots. Select hotspots you want to interact with. Uh, okay. Okay. Bobby Yale, a boxer at Dunn's gym, has a crucial fight against the reigning champion in two weeks. But he disappeared two days ago. Yes. Hmm. Your father, Joe Dunn, boxing manager and gym owner, hanged himself two days ago. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. In mm -hmm. short, if Bobby Yale is a no-show for his fight, you'll have to pay a fine. But since you don't have the cash on hand, your father's gym would have to close. Yes. So you want me to find Bobby Yale? Yes. No. Jake wants you to find Bobby. Oh, I see. Mm. Well, first of all. Okay. Uh, uh, accept my condolences. I'm really sorry, Miss Dunn. Please accept my condolences. Thank you. Damn it, John. Will you take the case or not? Mm. I will. But we're talking about Madison Square Garden. The stakes are high. Which can only mean things will get ugly behind the scenes. Not to mention pricey. Yes, Mr. Blacksad. If you find Yale and he fights, I'll be able to pay you whatever you ask for. Ooh. Price is very high. Just doubled now that you said that. Tripled even. Quadruple, dare I say. Dare I say. I don't even know how to respond to that, Scooty.
Look at this guy, huh? Cheers. <laughs> I don't think so, Tig. I know so. I know you already went to Yale's apartment and found nothing, but I'll search it myself at some point. Okay. That cleaning lady, Mariam Purnell, the one who found Joe Dunn's body, she works part-time at Sam's Diner, just down the road on the left, right? That's right. Uh, I think I might uh, pay her a visit as well. And the gym, of course, to see what I can find. Okay, I think I've got enough to start with for now. Oh, this is weird. So I can't really change the camera angles. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that done? Wow. Okay, okay. Apparently he likes the saxophone. Pan, all right, pan, 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 pan. I like it. Uh, let's go upstairs. There's always some weird shit going on upstairs. Oh my God, there it is. Mm. You know what time it is, bro. Get up them stairs, homie. Get up them stairs, homie. Is there a jump? No jump? All right, I guess we're not going up the stairs. I didn't want to go up them anyways. I mean, it looks like there would be something, but obviously I'm not interested. Okay. All right, interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw that. I saw the energy of champions. Helen Moore, she's a fox. Huge tits, got it. Oh wait, I forgot. They wanted me to use this button to switch between different. There it is. Hmm, okay, Hall of Fame. I'm thinking we're going to eventually learn about that later on. I'm not really sure what that is. Okay. All right, all right. Do work stiffer than me working at uh, Famous Footwear. <laughs> yeah, I keep it at corporate, bro. This is business. This isn't for pleasure. Oh, well, well, well. What do we have up here? Okay, not really sure what that is. Got a lot of Hall of Fame stuff popping off. I'm sure we'll figure it out later on, to be honest. Can we get on the other side over here? Get out of town. I'll be honest, we didn't get anything out of the upstairs. Whoa, whoa, what is that? Okay, okay. I'm not sure what all that is, but apparently we're gonna figure it out later on. All right, cut the bullshit. I'm going up one more time. I'm going up, let me up. There it is, come on, come on. Nothing, all right, well, 
100% not going to allow me to go there. Let's go black. Get that sexy ass jazz in there. Let's go check out what's going on downstairs. See where that dude hung himself, quote unquote. Camera angles are a little bit crazy. Harder you train, the luckier you get. Get out of town, bro. Get out of town. <laughs> uh, I mean, we are definitely collecting a ton of cards right now. Stick that shit, homie. This is an interesting take on video games right here. No guts, no glory, okay. No pain, no gain, okay, all right. Standard gym, standard gym swag. Oh no, we're not leaving yet. Oh, I'm just gonna walk into that. All right, here we go. It was under the shack, bro. 100% <laughs> under the shack. Is that another card right there? That's 100% a fucking card right there. If you want to box, train. If you want to win, train harder. There you go. It's like an Instagram page over here. Don't act like I didn't see that card. Uh-uh. Nah, 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 nah. You know what I want. I want to talk to Samson. There we go. I think I might get into the campaign for Grand Theft Auto V. I really enjoyed playing it, but it's been a hot ass minute. Yeah, I still got to download and install that one as well. Whoa. On the surface, it seems dry, but there's no dust. Yeah. And it's damp underneath. It could have fallen the day Dunn died. Dude, he straight up stuck his whole finger in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Scaffolding. Sturdy. All right. Shook the shit out of it, but not really much else. You about to train? I once shredded a bag like that, just out of pure rage. Okay, there you go. So apparently my guy has anger issues. Respectable. I mean, he is going broke. Mm. Oh, God. You got anything going on over here? Any cards? No, no cards. Should I walk in the paint? All right, I'm walking in the paint. You got a locker room going on? Okay. Looks like we're not going in the showers. Thank goodness. Whoa! The racist brain is so full of hatred that there's no space for trifles such as common sense or, say, spelling. But this most cultured writer spotted the error and attempted to correct it. Not sure what to make of the outcome. I'll be honest, in 2020, I don't think you should probably put that in your game. Let's, let's go ahead and roll by that. It's poop. say farting is the key to success the harder you bang the muckier you get yeah this game is less than six months old bro uh oh uh oh there we go 
slap them in that thing. Wham! Standard. No dung, no glory? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Not like this. Not like this. It's a shitty situation. I like how casual he walks. Like there's no no rushing in the world at all. Don't act like I didn't see that card on the fridge door, bro. Uh-huh. I was like, don't act like I didn't see it. I wonder if this music's copyrighted. Wow. What in the fuck? Good morning, sir. Ah, it's a good morning to you. John Blacksad, Private Eye. Would you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Not at all. Proceed, Your Honor. Have you seen anything unusual lately? Yes, indeed, kind prince. My pretty little eyes just saw a pink elephant parade. <laughs> but naturally, I decided to join in the fun. <coughs> <laughs> uh... Is there anything I can do for you? Well, there is indeed. Move. You're blocking my view of this wonderful sunset. <laughs> it just so happens that you can. Apple of my eye. Do this old man a favor, and bring him some sustenance. Uh, all right. Okay. So, I think we could... He got the Rona? Oh, shit. Not the Rona, bro. Not the Rona. What is that? What am I looking at over here? Uh oh, are we about to steal from this old man? We are! <laughs> Your card's mine, bitch. You'll never know. You'll never know. It's mine. It's all mine. <laughs> Discourse on equality. Yeah. Did Miss Straight discriminate on this man lately? What else you got back here, bro? Huh? You got anything else back here? What is this? I might just be the last person in New York without a TV. I should buy this one, uh, and I intend to stay that way. Who needs one anyway? Actually, maybe they hid something in there. I don't know. I don't know if those kind of things are going to affect the game. It's like, why would they even put that there? Hmm, interesting. Take a little casual stroll, double back around. Can we get up here? No, not gonna get up here? Come on, baby, finesse it, finesse it, finesse it, finesse it. Okay, all right, all right. This dude's just swagged out of his fucking mind. Like, everything he does is swaggy. Not gonna let me look down there? Not gonna let me get up in there? What we got over here? Nothing? Nothing in these back-ass alleys? Come on. Okay. Hmm. 
I'd prefer a yellow Cadillac, but I can't complain. That's your whip, homie? The big old white walls on that thing? I'd prefer a yellow Cadillac, but I can't complain. I thought the A button meant let's get in and ride. Uh oh, uh oh, cutscene. Per now, the person who found Dunn's body works a block away from the gym. Okay. I'm certain she can give me the kind of information that I need. Hey, watch where you're going, you jerk. You looking for trouble, moron? No. Sorry. Really, I'm sorry. You better be, you wuss. Take your old ass on, bro. Go deliver him. Uh, you know what I mean? I was like, he don't want this smoke, bro. He'll end up in the noose as well. These strong ass loading scenes right now. Okay. Uh oh. Music's changing. What's happening? Get on in there, Black. And there you go. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Come back soon. Mm-hmm. That was a nice angle of my feet. Welcome to Sam's Diner. What can I get for you? Um... Black Sad, Private Eye. I work for Sonia Dunn. I need to ask you some questions about Joe Dunn. Um, sure. But I'm working right now. <laughs> Maybe later? Uh-huh. Uh, I don't see any customers. I need your help. There we go. Please, I need to find Bobby Yale as soon as possible. And I think you can help me. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, what can you tell me about Sonia Dunn, Joe Dunn? Can I have a hamburger? See you? <laughs> there we go. Let's talk a bit more about Joe Dunn. Uh, you found the body. What do you remember? How is it outside the gym? What kind of boss is he? Here we go. Can you tell me how you found Dunn's body? Well, I thought I was alone. I clean early in the morning before Mr. Dunn comes in. Oh, so you have keys to the gym? Yes, of course. There was paint on the floor, so I thought it'd be a busy morning. And then I saw him. Hanging there, like a baby mobile over a crib. Then I think I panicked. When I calmed down, I called the police and waited outside. Wow. Sorry, that's all I can say. Don't worry. But if you remember anything else, let me know. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. All right. How was Joe Dunn outside the gym? I wouldn't know. I only saw him at the gym or right there. That was his spot. I think everyone liked him. Hmm. Hmm. What kind of boss was Joe Dunn? A good one. Always paid on time, never raised his voice. If I asked for the day off, he even cleaned the gym. Thanks, but I still don't get why he'd commit suicide. Yeah. Uh, he had problems with his daughter, he was a widower, he had money issues. Here, let's talk about the money issues. Maybe he simply had money issues. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Could be. The gym didn't really get that dirty lately. Hmm. Okay. I heard his relationship with his daughter wasn't ideal. Oh, really? Poor man. I don't have kids, but that has to be really hard. All right, all right. His wife died years ago. Maybe he never got over it. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe he did. That was a long time ago. God damn, what do you know? Shit! Let's find what out about the daughter. About Sonia Dunn? I barely know her, but mm. she looks like a smart girl, poor thing. Okay, okay. Hardly know Sonia, okay. Uh, let's talk about Bobby. Any ideas where Bobby Yale could be? How, how am I supposed to know? He's really there when I clean the gym. Bobby seems like a nice kid, but I, I barely know him. What kind of fucking gym cleaner doesn't know the people there? Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm getting a real weird vibe about your job. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about your job? Can I ask you about your job? Uh, which one? <laughs> at the fucking gym! What do you mean? How long have you worked at the gym? It's been, what, four or five years? Although, I don't think I'll be able to set foot in there again. This must be really hard for you. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tell me about your work here in the diner. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. My boss. Oh, glad to hear that. Okay. Other than the diner and the gym, you don't work anywhere else, right? I wouldn't have the time, although I'm not sure I want to continue working at the gym. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Ooh, I wouldn't quit if I were you. You might want to stay away from the gym. Nah, let's keep her at the gym. If I were you, I wouldn't quit. Trust me, it might be painful at first, but time heals all wounds. Joey used to say the same thing. Maybe, I don't know. Thanks. Uh-huh, yeah, exactly. You hear that? She called him a pet name. You know what that means? I mean, she's bullshit, and she's, she knows more than she's letting on to. Hmm. Who's Jake? What do you think about Jake Ostiambi? Who? Who's that? A big gorilla. Boxer, too. A friend of Joe Dunn's. Oh, yeah. I barely know him. I don't like how he looks at me. Oh, yeah? Let's get a hamburger. Can I have a hamburger, please? Oh, sure. Regular or cheese? Cheese, baby. I think I'll get the cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want fries? You got it. No, that's it. Okay. What? Is that for here or to go then? To go, please. Mm -hmm. One cheeseburger to go, Sam. Okay. What is that? What's happening right now? Uh, oh, is this where to look at her ears, her eyes, her mouth? Uh, let's go with the eyes. Where's the two button? Oh, okay. Okay. Whoa, my controller's fucking vibrating like crazy. They look puffy and tired. Sleepless nights, hectic days, or has she been crying? Perhaps all of the above. What? All right, so we're supposed to look at her mouth. Oh, that's her neck, homie. Smells like cinnamon. No, cinnamon and burgers. What, bro? Why can't I zoom in right now? Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this game is crazy. All right. Are we supposed to get a deep zoom in again? This is wild. What a weird aspect. Smells tasty. My pal is going to lick his chops. Oh, okay, okay. What do we see? What do we see? We got one more thing. What is this? Boom. Cheeseburger takeaway? Her handwriting is nice and neat. Okay, that was interesting. There's a lot of unique things that this game has going on with it. Like the way that the walk is, the camera angles, the whole the whole flow of the game is not like anything I've ever played before. Your burger is ready. Mm. 
Oh yeah, get it. Get a killer. Get a killer. All right, I'll let you enjoy your meal. Four people used the back door that very same night. What? Well, I might be blind as a bat, but as you can certainly see, I have two wonderfully functional ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. I hear it. I hear it. Oh, God. Come on. Come on, bro. Four people used the back door two days ago? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Who was the first person to use the back door? Someone big. Unlocked the door, stepped inside, <laughs> then came right back out. Okay. Who was the second person to use the back door? A man. Just a few minutes after the first person. He came back out muttering, ungrateful bastard. Then he threw something in the trash and walked back in. Oh, no, wait. Before that, he gave me a coin. A coin? I mean, do I look like I need spare change, huh? I mean, I'm staying at the Million Star Hotel, for God's sake. <laughs> oh my God. Who was the third person to use the back door? Judging by the quiet footsteps, I'd say it was someone small. I'd say it was a about 30 minutes after the second person came out. Interesting. Whoever it was, threw something in the trash and stood in front of me for a moment. Then, I heard a click. And finally, I heard trailing laughter in that direction. Who was the fourth person to use the back door? Someone big. I recall heavy breathing. The person left in a hurry, running in that direction. Mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, thanks. Uh, you seem saner than before. Chest expander in the cart. There's a chest expander in your cart. A what expander? A thingamajig with three springs. Oh, the thingamajig with springs. Oh, I, I got it from the trash back there. Hmm. Interesting. What is the, uh, what's the face looking like? Does that mean just stare at him? You were acting a bit strange before, but now you seem fine. Why is that? Hey, you got great vision, sense of smell, hearing. Why is that? Well, I'm a cat. Well, I'm a goat. <laughs> posture check posture check good call what is this one? Oh, cat sense all right let's go ahead and zoom in there we go could he have been a train conductor hmm interesting hello looks like someone used it as a punching ball yikes What do we got? Oh, we're going deep in the crotch. We're going deep in the crotch. I wonder what it feels like to live without legs. Do Would you I manage? I mean, that's your only real option, bro. <laughs> if you don't have legs, I mean, it's not like you got the option. Come on, homie. Blind and legless. How does he get by? Looks like someone used it as a punching ball. I mean, didn't we just go over that? Oh, okay. So we got everything, okay. Uh, let's talk about the paint can. Where did you get that paint can? In the trash can in the back. A paint can and a thingamajig with springs. What a night. <laughs> That's all for now. Thanks. He's so fucking sarcastic. <laughs> I guess we'd go check that trash can, huh? Hmm. Maybe go back inside, do another once around. 
think we've already looked in here though. Hmm. Ah oh, yes, those footprints. I see them now. Whoa, whoa. Uh, Sheriff Weekly, no call, Rhino's wife. <laughs> Let's call the wife. The rotary phone over here. Jeez, that thing's an antique. Black side here. Please don't tell me my husband. You have nothing to worry about, Mrs. Colbert. Do me a favor and enjoy your family. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Mr. Black That's what I do. That's what I do. Um, let's call the weekly news. Let's see what we got. Ring me up, Chief. Bro, is he not even holding his phone to the ear? Hey, Weekly, this is... John, did you get my pictures? Yes, and... That rhinoceros has one big horn, huh? Uh... And the girl, hot damn! You want me to find out her name? Please, pretty please. Uh... No, Weekly. Look. Just forget it for now. I only called to tell you that those photos are top class. Yep. You have a pal down there? Can I talk to him? I heard a woman's running it now. A boxing gym. Now, that's what I call news. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, I'm working on a case for the gym owner. I'll see what I can do, okay? I'll call you. Thanks, pal. You just made my day. Let's see what we got. Ring, ring, ring. Let's see what we got, baby. Smart enough. Joe Dunn, the boxing coach. You hear anything about his death? Like said, is that you? You got me. How's everything, Chief? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Too much work as usual. As for Joe Dunn, he hanged himself in the story. I'm too busy, John. I can't afford to put a single man on the case. Why are you asking? Uh... Joe Dunn's daughter hired me. But I still don't get it. Any signs of foul play? His pupil, Bobby Yale. No one's seen him since Dunn hanged himself. Well, his coach killed himself a few weeks before his big fight. Must be drowning his bad luck in booze in some gutter somewhere. So, are you going to help me? I wish I could, John. Anyway, I'm afraid I don't have anything useful to share. And it seems like you don't either. But, if you do find something, give me a call. We've been friends for a long time. And you think this is what two friends talk about on the phone? Good to hear from you, John. Take care. Damn. Damn. Get out of here. Hmm. Did we miss anything? That's the thing. Did we miss anything? I think we need to go upstairs and talk to him. Let's see if we can make it up the stairs. Look at that. Casual. Here we go. I better leave these two alone. Damn. Hmm. All right. Well, we've checked upstairs, downstairs. We got some info from the hobo Jojo outside. Let's, uh, oh, there we go. We didn't check that yet. What leads a man to do something like this? 
don't know. This already dealt me a fair share of blows, but... Uh-oh. Something just doesn't add up. Yeah, it seems off. I agree. Winning isn't everything, but wanting to win is. Okay. Interesting mindset. Respectable. Respectable. Hmm. Is it not going to let me walk out? Hello? What? Uh-oh. What is this? What the fuck? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. What kind of shit is that? Oh, look at that guy. He's a lion. Hyena. We're going to Sam's Diner. No, we don't need anything at the diner. What about over here? Can we walk into the street? Nope. All right, so I guess I missed something. The 1943. During the war? That's odd. Why? Why is that odd? Only thing that I think I missed was the phone call to Shmirnov. Maybe we could like press him. Hell, what's up, Desel? What'd you walk into? This is an interesting detective game. that I think I missed is there was a Smirnoff call on here again. I might be able to press him a little bit harder. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can press him just a little bit harder, bro. Smirnoff. You're going to like what I have to tell you about the Dunn case. I found racial slurs painted on the lockers at Dunn's gym. He was pretty open-minded about racial issues. Maybe his death had something to do with that. John, half of the crimes in this city have racial ramifications, unless you have solid proof that it wasn't suicide. My hands are tied. Hmm. I think that's it. Damn. That was my go-to right there. That was my go-to. What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, what is that? Of course, Hall of Fame card. Hall of Fame card. Put it on there. What am I missing? He says I need solid proof. Solid proof. Um, only thing I can think of now is maybe the hobo stuff. He said that there was a gun pointed at him. <laughs> Decept, you're crazy, bro. You're crazy. You might need to you might need to chill, man. You might need to chill. Hmm. 
Where would we find solid proof of the murder? Well, at least that it wasn't a suicide. He said there was a lot of activity at the back door. There was four people. He picked some stuff up out the trash. There's got to be something near this trash can or... Let me see. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. Okay. All right. A little Hall of Famer action. Bro, you're playing a walking cat detective? Oh, yeah. I play all types of games, man. <laughs> I play all types of games. Listen, if I played Save the World as long as I did, you know? <laughs> There's gotta be something for me to snatch over here. Is that a goat? Yeah, that's a goat. He's a blind goat with no legs, homie. Is there anything else to say? Do you know anything else, homie? Do you remember anything else about the day you found the thingamajig with the springs and the paint can? Yeah, uh, no. <coughs> wait, 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 yeah. Well, no, now that I think of it, uh, no. You motherfucker. Hey, How about thinking a good looking goat with a cigarette? <coughs> Give this man a fucking cigarette. <coughs> Oh my god! Come on, bro! Of course. Of course. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, you think you're not responsible for my pathetic state? Think you're not to blame? The fuck are you talking about, bro? The government shipped me off the war. They shipped me off too. Oh right. So then you know what it's like to kill too. Well then, another sad hobo shouldn't be a problem for you, Professor. I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, okay, I understand. Wait, wait, but. Uh, that's not what I wanted to say. Oh, well, you know we goats tend to jump from one thing to another. <laughs> what the fuck? The government paid for everything. Army fatigues, rations, weapons. <laughs> Lodging, hookers, drugs. Okay. Do you know where that money comes from? <laughs> Taxes! Your taxes, my dear friend. You help them cut my legs. <laughs> they declare war, war. Every chance they get so that the weapon industry that finances their campaigns get, gets richer and, and richer and richer. And that's how we finance their wars. So. The slightest connection with corruption turns us into accomplices. Unless one manages to keep at arm's length. <sighs> that is what I did, my loyal disciple. At the Million Star Hotel. Bro, he keeps <laughs> yawning. It's making me tired. So, Hey, what's your name? You never told me... What in the fuck? Damn. Hmm. Still nothing at the trash can. He still doesn't know anything. He got a cigarette from me. He talked about his fucking war experience. This Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Diane. What about over here? Any trash? 
Anything? Nothing. We need hard evidence that it wasn't a suicide. That's our play right now. That's our play. Hmm. Anything in the trash can? Nope. Hmm. Nothing there. Let's go ahead back over to the diet. Wait, who the fuck are you? Who are you, huh? No one? Okay, you just stand in there? I gotcha. All right, let's head to the diner, see if we can find something. I mean, we were already here, we already got some food. We questioned her religiously about everything. There was nothing on that one. Hmm. Well, we didn't walk around outside. Let's see what we got over here. Can we actually go in the gift shop? Lizard man, that guy's a bear. No, okay. Nope, 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 not trying to go to the gym. Come on now. What am I missing? What am I missing? Okay. Wash repair is not working. Is this guy a goat? Here's the diner. What happens if we walk past the diner? Oh, okay, okay. What do we got going on back here? Nothing, because we can't get in there. Lol. Got a little do not enter. Let's keep uh let's keep cruising. Okay, nothing. We gotta double back around. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Gotta be something I'm missing. 